Can this little dingly little thing vastly improve the sound quality coming from your phone? Let's find out. Hey there, friends. I'm sure many of you are like me, using your phones for virtually everything, including music listening. Now, I know there's a massive market for in-ear monitors and over-ear headphones, both of which typically need one common thing, a three and a half millimeter output to enjoy music from a device. Unfortunately, as we know, giants like Apple and Samsung seem to have dismissed the importance of this feature in their mobile devices, despite our hopes that the next generation of phones might reintroduce this feature, let's be real, I'm not holding my breath. We're pretty much left with two choices, either put up with the basic crap dongles that come with some devices, or upgrade to this bad boy, the iFi Go Link. Now there are countless DAC dongles on the market, but I do trust iFi since their products I've tested in the past have been quite impressive. You may be wondering, why a DAC dongle, Mike? Well, the reality is the built-in DAC in many devices just doesn't cut the mustard when it comes to delivering high quality sound. It's no secret that manufacturers select components off the shelf that are just merely good enough to check the box without investing in the quality of your listening experience. They're happy as long as your device produces audible noise. Well, I believe we should expect more. I'm committed to ensuring you have the best experience possible. If it means I must sift through a mountain of these devices, then so be it. I'm determined to find the best DAC dongle on the market for you. Unboxing the iFi Go Link, you'll find the dongle made for USB-C, an adapter for Apple's lightning connection, and a USB a adapter. This means you can pair it with almost any device you own, phones, laptops, tablets, and at the price tag of just 59 bucks, it seems to offer great value, provided it does its job properly, of course. Nothing about this setup feels, you know, flimsy or cheap. I am particularly impressed by the thoughtful details, such as the sturdy metal casing, instead of the more common, you know, plastic shitty stuff. I also really like the thin braided cable. You know, aesthetically, this little guy is stunning. It's very small and lightweight. Its presence is barely felt. It'll be just like listening to a standard pair of headphones with the wire. That's it. On paper, this little guy has some impressive specs. Within its compact design lives an ESS Sabre ES9219MQ-Q DAC say that three times fast, capable of reaching PCM up to 32-bit, 384 kilohertz, and DSD-256. There's even an MQA decode feature, though with MQA dwindling in popularity, that might be less significant. Like most DACs, there's an LED light that changes color based on the format being processed by the device. If powering your headphones is a concern, the iFi Go Link should put your mind at ease. It delivers 70 milliwatts into 32 ohms and a max output of 2.05 volts into 600 ohms. This should, in theory, provide just enough juice for an enjoyable on-the-go experience. True, a dedicated headphone amp might offer more power, but for those who are always somewhere else, this seems like an ideal solution. The primary benefit of a high-quality DAC dongle like this one is improved audio quality. Mobile devices usually have those built-in DACs, as I mentioned, but they're not always the highest quality. Well, unless we were playing with the LG V series that I have, <laughs> that's a whole nother ball game. A dedicated DAC dongle is generally engineered with better components and sophisticated circuitry to provide cleaner and more accurate audio conversion, resulting in a nicer, richer, and more detailed sound which the GoLink is built with nice components and capacitors. Under the hood, this looks really good, especially since this thing is smaller than my pinky finger. So, cool. The one qualm I have with this thing is that when it's connected to my phone or any other device, the USB-C connection is super touchy. If you move it, it will disconnect. I'm not sure if this is a manufacturing defect or just the way it is, but that is so far my only gripe. All these features are good and well, but they don't mean anything unless this dingle dingle dongle can perform. Let's see how it sounds. I wanted to give the iFi Go Link a proper test, so I started by comparing it with a generic dongle on my Samsung S22 Ultra. The result? The iFi utterly outperformed the generic one, leaving it in the dust. Feeling encouraged, I decided to pit it against the LG V30 next. While the V30 did offer a smoother sound signature, the iFi presented a more lively, open, and dynamic quality. It's certainly a bit brighter than the V30, but 
that's not really a bad thing when it comes to this, this little guy. For this test, I was using Periodic Audio's latest carbon in-ear monitors, which are terrific earphones in their own right. But then I wondered how would the iFi perform with something a bit more demanding? You should know, headphones are my thing. However, they don't get any love on this channel. So I wanted to take a moment to appreciate those of you who are here supporting my forays into the world of HeadFi. Your support makes all the difference. So I decided to pair my Hi-Fi Man HE5 SEs, which aren't terribly hard to drive, but will give the iFi a true exercise. I found it to be quite nice. Very nice. Overall, this little DAC outperformed my expectations. It is a bit bright, as I mentioned before, but that brightness does also play into the detail and dynamics, so it all works well together. I don't really have a form of reference other than some generic DAC dongles, so I would like to continue my quest for the best DAC dongle. We shall see what I come up with in the future, but overall, for 59 bucks, this is a no-brainer. Thank you all for watching and supporting my HeadFi content. As a thank you, I would like to give away one of these dongles to one of you. All you must do is be subscribed to this channel and comment below and be in the US. You have to be in the United States, live in the United States. If you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to make the like button, bend the knee. It takes no time to bend the knee. Pledge your soul to her calls. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I will see you on the next one, friends. Take care.